Eastern Michigan University's Division of Information Technology supports students, faculty, and staff by providing information technologies that align teaching, learning, scholarly activities, and administrative services within the university's mission. The Division of Information Technology puts large effort into its security awareness program. Unfortunately, it is not always like this and not always this easy. To understand the process and how the IT Security Awareness Program came to be, let's backtrack a couple years to follow their progress. About four years ago when we were doing this, we didn't have a campaign. We didn't have um, anything like this. It was um, pretty lackluster. Uh, we weren't very successful. The year was 2012 and the Division of Information Technology was operating in a vacuum. This meant during that year and before Division IT had no strategy in place and did not collaborate. Because of this, Eastern student, faculty, and staff's growing issues of cybersecurity problems were not being addressed. One of the professors in the College of Technology, Dr. Samir Tout, he came to us and um, said, hey, you know, would you like to collaborate on some security awareness activities and kind of build some awareness on campus? And we're like, oh, this is great. This is perfect. In the following months, they started brainstorming ideas of how to get safety tips out to the campus's population. The first step that they took was to partner up with other departments and get them involved, such as the College of Technology, the Faculty Development Center, and the University's Communication and Marketing Departments, to name a few. Combined as one, they came up with a way to create a cross-functional committee that would come together and tackle the University's cybersecurity dilemma. After the committee was formed, they would be called CyberSAC. Their mission was to increase awareness of cybersecurity issues and to integrate best practices into the culture of the university. After the formation of the committee, CyberSAC sat down to iron out their awareness strategy. It first started out with defining their campaign life. CyberSAC wanted to have a living campaign that would last many years and cover three of the biggest cyber issues facing the university. Phishing, which is um, you know someone trying to steal your credentials to trick you into giving them your username and password. We want to educate people about social media, uh, what's safe to do in social media and what isn't from a security perspective and, and keeping your information safe. We want to help people create good passwords so they're not easy to steal, easy to crack um, with some of the automated tools. After pinpointing the issues that needed awareness, the slogan, think before you click, post, type, was created. Once the slogan was created, it was time to start branding the campaign. This led to the formation of the eSafe graphic logo, the eSafe lock. With 2013's October Cyber Security Awareness Month on the horizon, it was time for CyberSAC to start collaborating. The university's marketing department created three editorial cartoons that represented the slogan. The first editorial cartoon covered click, and it showed an EMU student clicking on a phishing email and the repercussions involved. The second editorial cartoon covered post, and it showed an EMU student in a job interview because of their social media posting habits. The third editorial cartoon covered type, and it showed an EMU student's password being compromised because he had it displayed where it could easily be found. These three editorial cartoons were published all over campus and helped aid the raising security awareness. In conjunction with the editorial cartoons, the development of the three eSafe safety videos followed the slogan covering the same three topics. Hey Ben, would you like to hear a password joke? Sure, let me hear it. Ready? What was Forrest Gump's password? I have no clue. What was it? <laughs> one Forrest One. <laughs> In order to accommodate to a changing media world, the videos featured animated cartoon mascots that helped walk a troubled EMU student through the three cybersecurity topics. Be on the lookout for fishy keywords, such as update oh, account, check. validate, check, verify, check, click here, check, etc. Yeah, fishy phrases. A good rule of thumb is if you think what you're about to post could be harmful to you or someone else, just don't post it. Yeah. Last With a higher production value involved in the video projects and cartoon mascots, it would become easier to get students interested in the campaign while still learning cybersecurity tips and tricks. While the videos were being created, the idea of printing t-shirts came about. They featured the eSafe logo on the front and the slogan on the back and became an easy way to raise awareness for the campaign outside of the university's department's efforts. In addition, the IT department went through and updated information on their website to current cybersecurity standards, 
This effort created a backbone to which students and staff could be sent to to gather more in-depth detail on the topics. eSafe violation sticky notes were placed on computers in the computer labs when students were absent while still logged in in efforts to protect students in the university from their personal accounts being compromised. A skip by C2, which is a drama club combining students and staff, covered phishing emails, a cybersecurity topic, and performed it for the audiences. A few examples of this was during lunchtime at the Student Center in the new faculty orientation. The end of 2013 was near, and after a successful cybersecurity campaign so far, it was time to gear up for 2014's with no slowing down. Advertisements to advertise all three eSafe videos were created. Three different posters were created for each video, table tents, and bookmarks for each of the videos and more. Another advertisement was an ad in the daily planners handed out to any student who wanted one. Each and every graphic was unique in their own way and were all designed to be simple but engaging. With all these media assets in their possession, the IT department contacted the bookstore to hand out the bookmarks to students. The table tents were placed on the tables in the student center's dining areas and the posters were hung up in the library and dorms. The campaign was in full swing and the results were showing. eSafe tables were set up during campus events and also in high trafficked areas on campus. With doing so, campaign members were able to pull in students and explain security information on a one-on-one -on -one basis. There is one thing that really stood out this year, I'll start with that. Um, when we did the engagement tables and we, we um, had a table where we showed students and staff um, a website and they could type in their password, the current password, or they could make one up, it didn't have to be real, it didn't display it on the screen and um, it would tell them how many years it would take to break that password, how long it would take a hacker to break it. And believe it or not, there are some passwords that are in the trillions of years. So <clears throat> that really kind of, I think, gave people an idea of what we're talking about. The eSafe brand was becoming well-known and identifiable on campus. EMU students, faculty, and staff can be seen wearing eSafe t-shirts almost every day all over campus. Compromised image email accounts were decreasing in numbers, weak passwords were being changed out for stronger ones, and students started to realize their social media habits could affect them later in life. Here, let me show you. All right, all right, I got it. <laughs> we looked at our password changes on our system, um, the, the, um, for my.image and net.id password changes. They spiked on those days that we had those tables. So we're, we're and it, there weren't other spikes on the other days, and we looked at you know uh, weeks and weeks worth of data. So we're pretty convinced that as a result of people visiting those tables, they changed their password to something stronger. CyberSac's efforts were paying off. The program is growing every day and continues to improve and get better. The biggest time to act for these students and staff is at the beginning of the school year when the freshmen move in and classes begin. This is their biggest time of year to get people aware of the campaign because new students and staff may not know how important cybersecurity is and the steps people need to take in order to be cyber safe in college. People graduate from this university every year and then you've got a new a group of freshmen coming in. There are also people that um, for whatever reason you know, they haven't gotten our message yet or it's just not the right time to receive it. So that's, I think we're constantly in flux. We've got to just keep staying fresh, keep relevant, you know, keep researching what's the newest trends, what are the biggest threats, what's new on the horizon. So, I mean, this, this campaign is just going to keep going and, and morphing as um, the community needs us. In 2012, Eastern Michigan University's security awareness program was a failure with hope to be good. But over the course of the next two years, and fast forward to present day, the program has passed the good and is now great. It all started with problems that needed to be solved with no direction to pursue. But through determination, hard work, and collaboration, the Division of Information Technology's Security Awareness Program was able to pull the university together in a successful attempt at solving the campus's cybersecurity issues with outstanding results. While the campaign is still young, it shows no signs of slowing down. 
Well, we're going to keep the, the, um, the click post type for 2015. We also want to continue doing one thing every month. What we'd like to really focus on is um, during the holidays, people get a lot of gifts. You know, they get, might get a new laptop, a new phone, and we want to make sure people keep those secure, keep them locked, um, keep them in their eyesight. So those are the types of things that, that we'll be doing as much as we can. When in doubt, get help and verify the email is actually legitimate. Good to know. And hey, just remember, think before you click, post, and type.